Hello reformers and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. Now, when we left off, we had just become a vassal of the Saranids in an effort to, shall we say, pull off a secret plan that I literally just thought of. <laughs> no, I, I had actually been thinking about it for a while because being a mercenary and fighting vassals over and over and over until we have an opportunity probably not going to happen anytime soon, so I thought, okay, why not expedite the process a little bit? And so, we have manipulated things a little bit, but not too much, because as you can see here, he's actually giving us the castle, which is nice of him, and amusingly enough, is actually defending us for the most part. I've actually seen a huge amount of Serenid vassals pass by us, and have actually chased off many enemy vassals in the process, which is really, really nice of them. But this is, uh, well, shall we say, this is a very nice honor, but uh, you'll see the situation we're in right now. Yeah. <laughs> we have a huge amount of Kurgit, Carnate, Vassal... Oh, never mind. We don't have any Kurgit Carnate vassals. No, it seems like they've just got chased off completely, which is absolutely fantastic. Right, so this is where our plan begins, because obviously I was fully prepared to defend Tilbo Castle to the death, basically. Wow, we're, we're getting some really nice luck here as well, although I think they're paying probably the minimum that they can to get King Harlaus back. 7,000 is not that much. I have seen 10,000 before, so maybe they're just trying to get him back with a bit of a bargain. But anyway, the point is, my plan was to initially obviously take Tilbo Castle. Maybe if he declines it, then obviously we can rebel, take that, and then just take the other fiefs in the surrounding area because they're all quite weak. But as it stands, it seems like everything's going our way at the moment. I'm going to be accepting this offer because 7,000 is just a lot, and I don't really want to just let that go. Okay, so Tilbo Castle has now come under siege by a very weak vassal indeed, and there go the Serenids. Hopefully they're going to be defending Dirim so that I can deal with this guy myself. I have actually changed my army composition around quite significantly to deal with a siege defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and... Come on, get him! Yeah, there we go. Get him. Yes. That's what we like to see. I was I was going to be really mad if he managed to escape. But anyway, I, as I say, I've changed around our army composition ever so slightly. And uh, maybe that was a bad idea because these guys are only cavalry, if I recall. Only cavalry with the you know exception of some early units. And this is this is not good. This is not very good at all, if I do say so myself. Or maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe it's actually going to work out better than I anticipate, because obviously they're just going to run in here and do whatever they want. But maybe we're going to lose a couple of archers in the process. But they really just did charge in. I mean, they just charged in. There's not much I could do to sort of be prepared for this, other than just kind of consolidate our units in a, you know, stationary position. And that's basically it. I mean... What else can I do? I mean, I've, I've charged in my infantry and everything. I can, I can move my archers back a little bit. I mean, uh, I mean, it's not really going to do much, is it? Because they're on horses. And these guys, you know, being on horses are obviously going to make things very difficult for the archers to get away from. And it might be good that they're close by to our infantry and our cavalry. So maybe moving them away is a mistake. But as it stands, Tansugai is, well... One of the lesser vassals in the Kurgit Khanate's arsenal, so we don't really have any problems, I don't think. No, there you go. We did lose two units to the Grim Reaper, hilariously enough, because Jeremus is still alive. So technically he should be absolutely fine, but oh well, never mind. Oh, really? Five? Okay, I, okay I'm, I'm just going to charge in. Just going to charge straight on in there because, yeah... These kinds of things are always quite annoying, and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get lanced, thank you very much. It's actually not a lance, I think he just had a regular spear, but still, that can deal a lot of damage. 
All right, can I can I kill him? Five dam? What? What? Five damage? Yeah, there we go. Thirty nine. That's a little bit better. Thank you very much. Oh well. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. So so far the plan seems to be going a little bit askew at the moment because obviously we own the castle now and that's not necessarily what I was planning on. But okay, I suppose it's fine. I can't really take anyone, can I? Guess I could just take the, the lances, I suppose. I, I, I don't know, I'll just take one of the footmen, I guess. But yeah, we're having a bit of a problem here because now... I don't really have anywhere to go. Because Tilbo Castle is garrisoned by me. It has to be garrisoned by me, so... This is obviously going to be a bit of a... A bit of a difficulty. Huh. Interesting. Oh yes, by the way, I, had, I recruited Clethy because I wanted to send her out for Right to Rule. And uh, yes, she's now returned. So that's nice. But... Huh. What am I going to do? See, now the thing is... Uh, what could I do, actually? Uh, okay, so if I... If I think about this for a second... So if I take another castle right away and just allow Tilbo Tilbo Castle just to go wherever cuz if I garrison this it's going to take me a huge amount of time to level up units unless I obviously use my trainer skill my trainer skills obviously yeah it's decent you know it's decent it's not great but it's decent so I could get some mid tier units pretty quickly but then if I think about taking a Dramuk Castle for example no no I can't take that cuz obviously the Vagi is not at war against us ah oh, how irritating is this ah uh, Okay, so what about Malayog? Malayog Castle, I suppose. Hmm. This is grinding my gears a little bit because... I was very much hoping that he wouldn't give it to us, but obviously it is our first castle, so I suppose he would be perfectly happy to give it to us. I, uh, I suppose if, you know, someone takes back Tilbo Castle, then that's absolutely fine because we can just take that back very quickly. It's not really a big deal. They're not going to be able to garrison it with a lot of units or anything like that. Okay, so uh, this is oh, this is going to be a pretty painful siege in itself. They have some very high tier units. Maybe a Hun castle would be a little bit a little bit better. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. 153, basically the same ratio of units there. They do have quite a few prisoners from the Saranids, which might actually. Hold us in good stead. Okay, we're going to try Ohun Castle here. If it's a siege tower, I'm not... No, no. Definitely not going to be doing a siege tower, thank you very much. Don't really want to stand there while I'm peppered to death by huge amounts of veteran horse archers. Tilbo Castle has now been besieged, which is to be expected. I'm not entirely sure whether to just let it go. Should I just let it go? Uh, that's a ladder castle. Okay, we're just going to try and take a Nuzdak then. It's relatively close to Swadian territory anyway. It's been besieged again. I'm hopeful that the Serenids are going to just run interference for me up there for as long as possible anyway. Because as you could see, Tilbo Castle on the text log there actually just said that it was no longer under siege. So I would assume that he's just running away and then coming back and then running away and so on and so forth. So maybe we'll be a little bit lucky in that regard. But speaking of luck... I'm not entirely sure about this siege layout. I have a feeling that we're probably going to sustain huge amounts of casualties. Let's get my archers in a good position. I'm actually going to try and out-archer them, if you know what I mean. I'm going to try and out-archer them if I can. And we're going to just... Uh, yes, just uh, cavalry, can you just please go over there? Thank you very much. Now, the reason why I have so many archers on the field of battle right now is because I was expecting a siege defense. And obviously a siege defense, you know, you need the most archers you can get. And hopefully these archers are going to prove themselves to be very effective at dealing with the Kurgids. It seems at the moment they're not actually doing too badly. These Serenid guards really should put a... Can you please equip your shields? <laughs> oh no, that is not very good. Right. Well, at least our archers are doing a pretty nice job so far. I don't mind that too much. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here and I'm actually gonna use my throwing weapons. Yes, dealt some damage. Oh, and then I, I took a lot of. Whoa. Okay, I, I'm taking a lot of damage. All right. So yeah, probably not a good idea for me to try and use my throwing weapons right now. Or maybe there maybe maybe it is. Headshot. 
Ah, I was very much hoping for a headshot. I think I hit him in the shoulder or something, but... Ah, well, never mind. It seems like we're actually doing a pretty good job here. Basically a war of attrition. I don't really like wars of attrition, to be honest, unless we're winning, which is what we are right now, so I suppose that's okay. Okay, so how, how we... <laughs> yes. I was going to say, how are we doing up here? And then I just get absolutely murdered with huge amounts of... Ah, uh, Barney is not particularly happy with me right now. He has a spear in his ribs, in the side, and he has a spear that's kind of in his elbow sort of area. Sort of lower arm. Yeah, he's not really happy with that either. Okay, so let's actually just see what's going on here. I'd like to see how many units they... Uh, they have some pretty decent units up here. Obviously, they have a wide amount of... Well, should we say a large amount of lancers, and the lancers are going to be the main problem here, I feel, because they're heavily armoured. You know, I mean, they're not heavily armoured like Huskals are armoured, but they're armoured like, you know, they're wearing chainmail. They're wearing chainmail, and that's pretty, you know, it's pretty hard to get through for the most part. I'm just really happy that our archers are doing such a good job, though. Most of them have... Have they? No. They haven't used all of... The, why, why, why is this guy just not... Why is this guy not shooting? Spread out a little bit, please. There we go. There we go. Yes, you're going to shoot now, Saranid Archer. I see you have arrows there. You better start shooting. Hmm. Yes. Crack the whip. You know, crack the whip. That's what we got to do. Got to make sure that all of our people are firing away. And it seems like we're actually... Yeah, we're, oh, wow. We're actually doing much better than expected. 65 of the enemies, 100 and, what is it, 160, have been eliminated. I'm actually really surprised about this. So it seems like us changing our army composition, at least for the siege phase, is a very, very good plan. And also the field battle didn't go too badly either. The field battle actually went reasonably well. Right, are they still firing away? They seem to still be firing away. We lost a sword sister, but she's only not knocked unconscious. Saranid, ah, we might actually start losing a couple of people now, which I'm not particularly pleased about. So maybe we should start retreating and then we'll come back in. Because I do need a little bit of HP. Would be quite nice for me to restore myself a little bit. So yeah, let's do that. Why not? So, wow, we gained 21 renown. For, renown? Ah. Ah, uh, I remember, I remember, you know what I, ah, uh, yeah, okay. So, nostalgia time. I remember way back when I first started playing that I would consistently get renown and morale mixed up. And I still do, hilariously enough, just now, because obviously that was a mistake. But <laughs> I used to consistently say, oh, and we gained, uh, what, what, what was that? Uh, tw 25 renown. And it turned out that I only gained two renown, but I gained 25 morale or whatever the case may be. So obviously, I'm just giving an example here. But I found that rather amusing, suffice it to say. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Okay, so there seems to be some battle going on there. So I'm a little bit worried about taking too long to head into a Nuzdak castle. I, as I say, I don't really care whether Tilbo Castle is taken. Because we can take that back very quickly. But what I want is just for the Saranids to decline one of my requests for a thief. And once they do that, we can break off and do our very best, you know, with everything else, basically. You know, we can actually start our own faction and then we can go from there. And when we do that, I'm actually going to play quite sacrificially. And uh, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't really make sense to be honest because I haven't explained it. But basically, what I'm going to do or I'm going to try to do is play very uh, apathetically, perhaps maybe, maybe pragmatically. I, I I don't really know what kind of thing to to describe it really. But basically, I'm going to w whenever there's a thief that we've just taken, I'm not going to sacrifice my entire army to defend it if there are. What, 500, 1,000 units outside, you know, because that's just, that's foolhardy, you know, that's foolhardy. Even though I may want to keep that thief, it is a much smarter decision to allow that thief to be taken and then take it back in a sneaky fashion a little bit later on. And I think that that's what we're going to be doing for the most part, because the AI makes some weird decisions sometimes, and maybe we can take advantage of that. So hopefully we're going to be able to do that. I think we might, we might be able to. 
Because playing sacrificially like that, I think that's probably the most effective way of gaining fiefs and basically making a faction weaker than they have to be. Because even if they do take back one of your fiefs, if they don't defend it, and they just put a small garrison of, what, 50, 40, 60 units there, you know, that's really not going to hold up. That is not going to hold up at all. That's going to be very easy to retake, and then you can just sweep them. You can just sweep them completely under the rug, and then you have taken back the fief, and it's, it's perfectly fine, because then the AI obviously will decide to do something else. They're not going to take that fief back, I don't believe. They're going to try and do something completely different, so there is that to consider as well. Okay, don't get headshot now. Come on, Barney. Don't get headshot. If he gets headshot, I'm going to be really, really mad. Oh, yeah, we killed one. Yes, we killed one with our throwing weapons. Who would have thought it? Yeah, what I'm also going to do, I'm going to try to do at least, is find an additional throwing weapon so that I can replace the lance. Yeah, I want to replace the lance if I can. Okay, so how we're... Oh, we've only eliminated 31. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, so we're being shot once again. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to lose my shield, so I need to just be a little bit careful here. That archer really needs to die. Come on now. Can you can you kill that guy? Come on now. He is... He's just shooting away there. No problem at all. Come on, Saturday Master Archers. You must have a much better targeting than that. Really? Really? Come on, guys. Come on. Really? Come on now. Ah, uh, it seems like they just, uh, seems like they didn't want to. Oh, can I not jump off the, I can't jump off the ladder? Really? Uh, I'm, I'm very surprised. It seems like there are invisible walls on the ladders. Or uh, at the very least on this ladder. I'm very surprised about that because you know me. Usually I'm, I'm falling off all kinds of ladders and all kinds of walls and things like that. Yeah, exactly. All right, so there's 35 here. I think I'm going to have to retreat again. It seems like I will have to. I don't know. I mean, let me let me just go and see the amounts of arrows that we have in our quivers right now. But this is basically the only way we can really do much. Because if we go up there, the lancers are going to, well, be pretty tricky for our small infantry and cavalry force to take out. So we're going to just retreat again. We did gain 14 morale from that, so that's pretty nice. I suppose as long as we eliminate some units every single time, as you can see, there's only 64 remaining. Most of them are lancers for the most part, 36 of them. And some of our people have leveled up, so that's nice. Let's get some more master archers there, and there we go. Okay, that was it. Right, so let's do this. Uh, uh oh, I was a little, <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, oh, wait. I've created my own faction. The Serenades are at war against us now. And then I saw that vassal with 208, and I was just like, oh, yeah, we want to be a little bit careful of that. But no, 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 he's a friend. He's actually friendly. That's nice. All right, so let's just get our archers in the same position and see what we can do. I'm going to cut away now, just so, you know, we can get the initial bombardment out of the way. And once we've eliminated about... I'm going to set a limit at about 30, and then we're going to charge in, perhaps. Well, I knocked one of them unconscious, hilariously enough. I was actually just trying to lure them out here. But as you can see, it's actually working a little bit. But, well, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm having a bit of a bit of difficulty taking damage, which is not particularly nice. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to charge in now. I haven't reached the threshold of 30. I've only killed 17, so I'm a bit worried about that. But I think, for the most part, we have eliminated most of the archers, I hope. If we haven't eliminated most of the archers, then obviously this is going to be a very short-lived charge, and we're probably going to get out of there as soon as possible. No, come on, Serenade Guards. Don't get killed by Lancers. You're much better than Lancers, aren't you? I mean, really, the Kurgits don't have the best infantry slash cavalry, do they? I mean, they have really good horse archers, I know that, but surely their Lancers are not a match for our Serenade Guards. I'm going to be really surprised if we actually end up losing this. Wouldn't that be amusing? Ah, well, it actually is amusing because I got killed. Oh, 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 that, oh, that is not good, is it? Oh, actually, it's not bad because we actually killed 40. Okay, so can we? Nah, uh, no. Seems like we can't tell them to surrender. And it seems like 
isn't Le wait Lesolet got himself taken out didn't he yeah Lesolet got himself taken out so unfortunately now that is now going to mean that we have no engineer and we have to wait nine hours ah uh, how annoying oh well never mind it seems like we are fine we can just go back in here I think we can actually just charge straight on now because it's only 25 right yeah yeah let's let's do that why not apart from the archers obviously we want the archers to stay back give us a little bit of support and I'm not gonna do anything this time I'm gonna just you know support people by shouting at them and saying what a good job they're doing you're doing a good job everyone and uh, yes cupcakes for all after we finish this particular siege because this has been a very long drawn out siege hasn't it look at this I'm trying to jump off this ladder and it's, it's, a, it's an invisible wall I mean really that is absolutely crazy because in every mod that I've played after native I don't believe there are any invisible walls with the exception of maybe one of the versions of a clash of kings because I think that some specific sieges required invisible walls to make them a little bit more difficult but yeah other than that I haven't really encountered any so I assumed that native was the same because obviously I've forgotten you know I played this when I was very very new to the game originally so yeah it was pretty yeah, pretty impressive to find that out okay not bad come on now kill them kill them all exterminate them all yes exactly okay well there you go very nice we were able to at least take another castle and <laughs> what am I going to be doing here? I guess I'm going to be taking all of these. I really didn't want to, to be honest, because they're, they're not really going to level up into anything great. Especially the looters. Oh, wait, well, the looters do become forest bandits. I'm not entirely sure what else they become. The caravan master becomes nothing. I'm not going to take that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that because literally he hasn't got any good gear or anything like that. So we're just going to let him go on his merry way. There is a heavy lance with, with better stats than what I have. Okay. That's nice. We're going to request that once again, and I'm going to be waiting here for some time. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.